Okay, welcome guys. Today we're going to talk about converting. There are times we get uh, information in units we don't uh, really find useful, like we get it in English, which is like miles per hour, which is really just miles over hour or per hour. And we want to know what it would be to equal something like meters per second. And we want to find out how to convert that. So let's start out with an example of 60. And we're going to write miles per hour this way to work with it. Now, with any number, if we take it and multiply it by 1, multiply it by 1, I'll get the same number. And it doesn't change the units. 60 times 1, and no units there, still miles per hour. Now, I could change multiply by that anything that equals 1. So if I multiply it by 2 over 2, I'm still going to get the same number or a hundred over a hundred. I will get the same number, 60 miles per hour. It doesn't change it. So using that idea, instead of watching, um, watch, multiplying 60 miles per hour, uh, uh, the one's are not working, 60 miles per hour, we're going to multiply it by something that is equivalent, but that will help us change the units. So now I want to get rid of miles, because I end up with, uh, with meters. So what I want to do is multiply by a ratio where we have an equivalent number of meters equal to a certain amount of miles. Now what I'm going to do is start out with one mile. And if you look on the inside cover of your book, you're going to see that one mile is 1609 meters. It's 5,280 or so feet, but it's 1609 meters. Now, if I multiply that through, what I see is the miles are going to go away, or cancel out, as some people say, and I'm going to be left with an answer that is in meters per hour. So 16, 60 times 1609, what does that give us? It's a 0, a 4, 5, 6, 3, 96, 50, 4, 4, Four zero. Now we're closer. We're in meters per hour, but I want to get the meters per second. So I'm going to take that number, and I'm going to do the same thing again. We start out with 96, 540 meters per hour. Now I want to multiply something that has hours on the top, so it gets rid of the hours on the bottom, and we want to get the meters per second. So left of meters per second. So if I have one hour. That is equivalent to 60 times 60 seconds. 60 seconds, 60 minutes, one hour. So if I go through that and multiply through, what I'm going to see is the hours cancel out. I'm left with meters per second. And whatever 96,540 is over 60 over 60, what does that become? 96,540 divided by... comes out to be 26.8 and <coughs> excuse me 26.82 meters per second now when we're talking about miles per hour and meters per second we can do a quick um, ballpark if we double that and add a little bit it takes us back to miles per hour in a very ballpark way so we double 26.8 that gives us 52, 53 something. We add a little bit, we're almost at 60. Uh, that makes us feel very comfortable about that. So there's a quick one in very sloppy handwriting of how to convert from miles per hour to meters per second or any kind of units.